Hey guys, it's your girl Kara's Crystal Visions. Welcome, newbies, in betweens, and OGs. Okay, give me some that boop, cause you the dopest, and we know this. Yes, I want you guys to know that I am so grateful and thankful and appreciative for all of your love, support, all of the likes, the comments, all of the love, the understanding that you send towards me, that you give to me, it is a blessing. You guys are a blessing to me just as you see that I can be a blessing to you by helping you out in the best way that God is allowing me to. And I want you guys to know that you are amazing. It does not matter where you are in your healing journey. It does not matter where you are in your life journey. You are amazing and you're doing the best you can. Just don't give up. Keep going, baby. This lifetime is a lifetime of healing, okay? So make sure that through your healing, and while you're healing, that you're enjoying the present moment, the people, the circumstances, and the situations that bring you happiness and joy and that add to your healing, okay? So wishing you guys and always sending you guys so much love. Hey, my darlings. Hey, my soul tribe. Hey, my babies. Welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your love, support, comments, likes, shares, donations. Ah, I super duper appreciate all of you guys. Okay, I am talking low because my little Tuki boots, my Ezra bear is sleep. Okay, it is early as shit. <laughs> but I wanted to get up and give you this message. All right. Um, remember that my readings, my babies, are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly, okay? Even if you have to look at the reading more than once to understand it, okay? All right, my babies. So let's see what your person's heart wants to reveal to you, okay? Whether you know this or you soon will know this, or whether this person is more action oriented versus verbal is what I'm hearing, okay? So let's get into it. What does your person's heart want to reveal to you? And this is whoever you came to this reading for, my darlings, okay? Let's see. All right. So we have pleasure. Okay. So your person feels good about you and when they're around you. Okay. And if y'all are doing the nasty, uh, you are the best this person has ever experienced. You are like a complete portal to another dimension that is just pure ecstasy is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Whether you know this or not, your person is in pure ecstasy when they are around you, when they get to talk to you, when you are just, you know, I'm here explaining whatever perspective or you're telling this person about your day or you're um, intriguing this person with a lot of knowledge, okay, or literature that you have read. Ugh. This person is in heaven, when they are around you, when they get to talk to you, when they, I'm hearing even fantasize about you, they stare at your pictures. Yeah, pure pleasure is what this person's heart wants to reveal when it comes to you. You make this person feel amazing. Yes. Let's see what else. Openness. Yes, your person feels safe and comfortable to let their walls down with you. Your person loves to be open emotionally 
to you. They love to pull you close. They love to cuddle and kiss all over you. This person also manifests with the moon. Or you guys could do this together. When there is a full moon, I'm hearing you and this person together stare at the moon and manifest not only a better life for each other, but a better life together, okay? Individually and together. But this person is open to you. They do not have their guards up. They are completely willing to receive you and willing to give the love you deserve as well, okay? And it gives them much joy, gives them much pleasure to be open emotionally to you. This person is also open to new possibilities, new experiences when it comes to you and this person. This is not a cornball. This is not someone that stays in the house all the time is what I'm hearing. This is someone that loves spontaneity. This is someone that is open to adventures. Even if it may scare them, they are still open to the experience because once you get past the fear, the miracle and the excitement and the joy is always there after. Okay? So your person is open to the pleasures that this connection is giving them or will give them, okay? Wow. Everything that your person is saying to you is coming from the heart. When they explain their feelings, when they explain their future with you, this person wants a deeper commitment with you. It's coming from the heart. You have cracked open this person's heart chakra, whether you know this or not, and they are loving it. This is something completely new to your person. Okay, let's get some more. Love. Don't you love it? <laughs> of course your person's in love with you. Oh, I just see a big ass smile. Your person feels like a kid in a candy store in regards to the emotional fulfillment that they feel with you. You don't make them feel stupid. You don't make them feel inhumane. You don't make them feel low. You do not use any of their past against them. You are open, you are loving, and you are pure joy to this person, whether you know this or not. It doesn't matter if you have any disagreements. It doesn't matter if you guys don't see eye to eye all the time. And it doesn't matter if sometimes in this relationship, it'll get boring or it is boring. It's just a part of a healthy relationship. And this person is happy to be bored with you. They're happy to continuously see you grow. They're happy to continuously grow this connection. All right? So they're open to the love and the pleasures that you bring, that this connection brings. Wow, this person is super fucking excited, okay? At the bottom of the deck, they definitely want a new beginning with you. Or you guys will be starting a new beginning elsewhere is what I'm hearing, okay? I'm hearing this person could have gotten a job in a completely different location as far as city, country, or state, all right? Or this person wants a renewal in this connection or this is someone new, okay? Put yourself where you belong. But this person, oh, you are a delight is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Let's get some more. You are complete fulfillment for this person. Yes, in every way. I'm hearing in every sense of the way. They want to bring you flowers or they want to make you feel special. They want to nurture this special bond that you and them share. Oh, they just sit back and daydream. They constantly think of you all day, every day. But it is so positive. And it doesn't matter 
any of the trials and tribulations that will come or that has already come, they think of you so highly, baby. Because at the bottom of the deck, they know the truth. You are their truth. And the truth is, you are their perfect person. You are their dream person is what I'm hearing. Okay? For them. And emotionally, sexually, intellectually, and spiritually, or if you are more religious, you fulfill this person in every category that I just said. And they are, I'm not going to lie, this person, whew, they are so overjoyed. They do pray to God and thank God. They are very grateful to God for you. Whether you know this or not, this person does this on their alone time is what I'm hearing. But you bring a lot of fulfillment. You are the full package. And not just to this person. Many people feel this way about you. Okay, that is a side note. And this person sees it and knows it. And <laughs> their ego does trip a little bit like, ah, ha, 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 I got her or I got him. And you don't. It's like this person is sticking out their tongue. Uh, this person is a mess. Okay, a hot freaking mess. Let's get one more. But they don't care. And you don't care either because I feel like you love this person just the same. This is mutual. This is mirrored. You're open to this person. You receive a lot of pleasure from this person. You are deeply in love with this person. And you look at this person as fulfillment as well. Maybe you are questioning or you need confirmation to see if they feel the same. Oh, I think this person loves you more than you love them. I'm going to be honest. Okay? So let's get a little bit more on what this person's heart wants to reveal to you, my babies. Okay? All right. <laughs> All right, my babies. I love these cards. Wow, we have blessing. You are, I'm hearing more than a blessing. Like, you are completely in your power. You encourage this person to stand strong in their power. This person gives you flowers and a lot of appreciation behind your back is what I'm hearing. And anyone that has anything shitty, negative, or just downright disrespectful to say about you, oh, they are completely coming to your defense, my sweets. No one, and I mean no one, will downplay how amazing you are is what I'm hearing this person say. Yep. You are a blessing straight from the heavens. I'm hearing Keisha Cole sent from heaven. Yeah. This person definitely feels that way. You could have come in this person's life when they were struggling, when they were trying to find themselves, when they needed that extra push, they needed that unconditional love that you give to help them step into their power, to step into their self-worth. And this person is beyond grateful for you. Do you understand me? This person could be quiet at times and it's because they're staring at you, whether you know this or not, especially if you're in their presence, right? And this person becomes quiet. And maybe you're doing something, you're not paying this person any attention. It's because this person is staring at you, thanking God, like envisioning how beautiful the future will be with you. Wow. This part, wow, absolutely. I cannot make this shit up. If anyone tries to say anything terrible about you, this person comes to your defense quick, fast, and a hurry. This person also wants to protect you <laughs> from some of their friends because if this person sees you as such, which is amazing, beautiful, royalty, empress, emperor, energy, the full fucking package, then other people do too. Okay, and I did say that as well. It's not just this person that sees you this way. It's many. And some of those people 
are your person's friends and family members and they have a crush on you low key. This person is very intuitive. They're very tapped in. Okay, this person can also be a healer, but maybe they just haven't figured that out yet. But if your person has ever showed your picture to their friends, they picked up immediately the energy of how attracted these friends are to you. <laughs> I hear your person say, I should have never showed them a picture of you. I should have never bragged about you so much, but I just couldn't help it. Okay, you deserve bragging rights is what I'm hearing. This is beautiful, babes. But with this protection card, your person is going to protect this connection by all means necessary. Okay, you are a diamond. You are a jewel. You are a rare crystal, my baby. And you deserve protection. You are gentle, sweet, kind. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. You are selfless. And they want to protect you because they don't want you to change that. Okay? They are also protecting this connection from family members that they intuitively and physically have seen try to go against this connection. Okay? So you need not worry my beautiful, I'm hearing empress or emperor. I will forever protect you in our connection. Oh, I'm loving this person's energy, okay? So your person's heart wants to reveal that they are wholeheartedly protecting you, this connection, and everything it means to them. You are a blessing. You are everything that they've completely asked for in a partner. You are wifey or husband material, okay? When this person got with you, they feel like they have upgraded because your energy is just pure, not only magic, not only does it bring miracles, but it's just pure purity is what I'm hearing. And by your energy being like this, you attract a lot of good because you give it, okay? This person gives the credit to you for being open to new possibilities that have helped this person tremendously grow and also has helped this person become more stable in their finances while still enjoying the work-life balance of pleasure, playing, right? Doing things with you that nurture the inner child, like amusement parks or, you know, go-karting, bungee jumping, just going on the swing together. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing and smoking an L. I'm hollering. So some of you guys can smoke. Okay, that's not for everybody. But taking nice walks and having really deep conversations, holding hands, um, trying new experiences that also put you on the edge of fear. But it's like an adrenaline rush. <laughs> this person loves the fact that you allow them not only to be them, but you open them to new experiences. Okay. So we're going to get a little bit more with our twin flame Oracle and see what this person's heart wants to reveal to you. Okay. All right. All right, babies. So we have here. Wow. So your person wants you to know that you have helped them tremendously find their confidence. I'm hearing increase or heighten their self-esteem. And now they see the value in themselves. Wow. They see the value in what they give to you, what they give to themselves. But they also see their potential and they are believing in it now. I feel like this is the type of person that could have been a talker. So they would talk about what they wanted to do, but they never really, I'm hearing, stepped foot into their plans or into whatever their dreams or whatever they were talking about doing. But you, my darling, give them the confidence, the courage. Maybe you give this person pep talks. Maybe you have truly introduced this person to spirituality or how to manifest you have introduced this person to certain, I'm hearing, 
bilateral beats, meditations that also helps this person to recalibrate the way that they think. You have given this person affirmations to consistently say on a daily basis that also have tremendously helped this person. <sighs> this person is ascending because of you. They want you to know that. It is all because of you. Of course, God first and foremost. Of course, God put you into this person's life so that you could help them. But not only are they thanking God and their benevolent ones, they're thanking you too. This is why they give you flowers. This is why they're so open to you. This is why they would give you their last penny in their bank account. I'm hearing this person would die for you. Wow. 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 <laughs> um, this person is evolving and is evolving. I'm hearing fast. I feel like this person could have took some time because they didn't believe in themselves. But you give this person the strength to truly believe in themselves, to know that they have the intelligence and the wherewithal to be whatever they want to be in this life, that they are connected to source. Like I was saying, you introduced bilateral beats, meditation, spirituality, a higher being a source into this person's life. This person could have been an atheist or this person could have been more religious. So now this person is saying that because of you, they are now able to intertwine religion and spirituality. And it has tremendously helped this person ascend. Wow. The other card that came out was masculine, whether this is a female or a male. Right? Your divine masculine, your twin flame or soulmate knows who you are. Like I said, they know you are their person. Yep. No one else that they were dealing with, friends, people that, you know, wanted a chance with them, people that were flirting with them, people that were, I'm hearing interferences and intrusions, they didn't want the best for your person. But every single day, from the day that your person has met you, you have always encouraged this person to be their best self, to stand in their power, and to love themselves for who they are, and to take their time and love their self through the process of evolving and changing. This person is so fucking grateful for you. I don't know if you know you do all this. But hell yeah, this person's heart wants to reveal that you are the truth. Yes, you are the truth. <laughs> but you are the reason, man. You are the reason. I'm hearing to spread it out like this. I don't know, but I'm just going to listen. All right, let's get some more from our Twin Flame Oracle. All right. How is your person's heart revealed? Ooh, I fell on the floor, y'all. Hold on. All right. So, your person absolutely considers you their family forever. Do you understand me? Or you could have a family with this person. Or this person wants to co-create with you. All right. It says kids, opinions, judgment. Your person has self-reflected on where they used to be to where they are now. And I'm trying to, I keep hearing, and I'm trying to tell you, this person keeps saying, I owe it all to you. I owe it all to you. If you do have a family with this person, they feel so satisfied. They would not trade you for the world. You understand me? Not for the Gucci's, the Mercedes, the BMW's, the chains. The materialistic bullshit, they wouldn't trade you for the world. If they had to live in a cardboard box and they had you, they would be satisfied. Wow. If you're already in a family dynamic with this person, they don't want nothing else. Nothing else. If you discussed having children, moving in, 
having that whole either non-traditional or traditional type of family dynamic. You make this person's life, okay? Not day, life. <laughs> oh my God, okay? Oh my God, yeah, marriage. Of course they want to marry you. You could already be married to this person and you're just peering in to see what energy your person is in. It's all about you, baby. If you're not married to this person, they are going to marry you. If you're already engaged, this marriage is going to be very fulfilled and very blessed by the divine, by the universe, by God. Absolutely. You are with the right person, okay? Whether you're getting to know this person, you reconciled, or you've been with this person. This person, I'm hearing, oh, you give them a higher love. This person is like, how the fuck did I even stumble upon you? And it was all God's doing. <laughs> it was all your spiritual team's doing. And they know this. They know the truth. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. This person wants to be, I'm hearing partners for life. We partners for life, baby. You're my best friend. You're my lover. You're my confidant. You're my therapist is what I'm hearing. You're my advisor, counselor. <laughs> Sometimes you are my secretary. If this person has their own business. Oh. And this is why this person wants to spoil you. They want to truly in depth know every single thing that will continue to make you happy, to make you smile. They want to make sure that they will never put a frown on your face if they could help it. This is fucking beautiful. Oh, we have blessings again. Protection, attention, love, protection. To clarify, protection. How beautiful. How beautiful. Your person is definitely protecting this blessing. And I'm trying to tell you, it could be some family members or friends that are hating on you for no reason. And it's because this person is head over heels in love with you and they don't give a fuck about nobody else. That's the blunt, honest truth, my babies. Your person heart wants to reveal that you are a complete godsend. And sometimes they do get in their own head to the fact that do I even deserve someone like you? But because you keep reassuring this person that they are worth it, because you keep spending time with this person, because you keep loving on this person, because you keep giving this person love, attention, and that jolt of, I'm hearing just childhood, that inner child joy. They don't have to ask you, do you love them? They don't have to keep questioning it, even though they do to themselves. They just get around you and your actions speak louder than your words. Wow, this could be your twin flame, but this is definitely a higher love. All right, eternal love, reincarnation, passion. This is a higher love, my babies, absolutely. And this person wants you to know that they know this. Even if they have not told you this, they know this. They are not letting you go for no one or nothing. And they will fight to the death to keep you. Ooh. This person does watch you. I cannot make this up at the bottom of the deck. We have observed. <laughs> when you are not looking, this person is always watching you. But they're always watching your social media. They're fixated on you. They're curious. Um, during their day while they're working, you know, what is babe up to? What is my wifey or hubby up to? Um, they could message you throughout the day to make sure you're okay. Or if you do this to them, like if you message them and say, you know, how's your day? Have you eaten? How are you feeling? Oh, this person appreciates you like wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, my love. Okay. Let's get some tarot to clarify further what your person's heart wants to reveal to you, okay? Okay. Oh, so we have the devil. 
they are completely obsessed. Do you understand me? Obsessed. But this person is the type of person that plays it cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, they're laid back, but they're staring at you when you're not watching and then they turn their head. <laughs> person is fucking obsessed especially sexually oh they are hella passionate about you like hella passionate baby okay don't get it messed up but also like i said you have taught this person to walk away from devils in disguises you have taught this person to walk away from toxic ass family friends or energies situations as well even a job dynamic is what I'm hearing. You have taught this person to truly love themselves, that they are above this devil energy, that they can actually enjoy the pleasures in life without having to be in this devil energy, like this shadow, low vibrational energy. And this person is obsessed with you now. <laughs> Honestly, I think they've always been obsessed with you. That's the truth. Yep. They're obsessed with the sex. They're obsessed with how you make them feel. They're obsessed with your essence, man. How you smell is also what I'm hearing. But you help this person overcome their toxicity. Yep. This is what they want you to know. Wow. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because this person has ascended... And they're more open to endless possibilities because of your help, because of your love. They have a grand opportunity when it comes to work. Like I said, I feel like your person could be moving to another city, state, or country for a better, a more grander financial opportunity. Because they were open to changing, open to evolving, open to expanding. And it's all because of you. And your person heart wants to reveal that because of your love that helped them ascend, their reward is abundance, is prosperity. And they're meant to share it with you. With this Ace of Pentacles, absolutely. You have really helped this person, I'm hearing, stand their truth, but reach their potential. Or you're helping this person. Okay, wow, we have the Ace of Cups. This person has so much love. They're drowning in their love for you is what I'm hearing. <laughs> They're drowning in their love for you. Absolutely. We have love and love. Ace of Cups and love. Your masculine, whether female or male, is completely head over heels in love with you. Their cup floweth over. They don't have any emotions for anyone else. It's you for them. And if they were dealing with anyone else, that is over. They have completely walked away from friends, family, or even flings that wanted a chance with them. Or people that wanted flings with them is what I shall say. Wow. Let's get a little bit more. This is beautiful. So for some of you guys, this is a new person. Okay, for others of you guys, this is a new beginning after both of you guys have ascended. But remember, you ascended first, your person followed suit because they secretly admire you. You are their muse is what their heart is saying. Ugh. And I don't want to hide it no more. All right, let's get some more. All right. All right, my love bugs. So, oh. we have judgment, okay? So your person has been doing a lot of self-reflecting when it comes to this relationship, this connection, or a possible deeper connection with you. And they have made the decision that, oh, this would be more than a fulfillment. I'm trying to tell you, Whatever you think, like, 
if you feel like your person is in love, no, they're in deep love. If you think your person is fulfilled, no, they're overly fulfilled with you. Like they put you a like above a pedestal. It's the only way that I can explain what I am seeing. But your person, like I said, has done a lot of self-reflection when it comes to who they want to build a family with. Who would they be most fulfilled with emotionally, sexually, spiritually, intellectually, and materialistically? Because this person has come into a big opportunity. So they're like, who do I want to share this with? And of course, it's you, my darling. Okay? So they have decided to either co-create with you if this is new they have decided to reconcile with their family if this is old or they continue to choose you because you are the best your top tier your irreplaceable lady all right wow of course you're fucking irreplaceable the empress so you could already be married to this person they ain't going nowhere baby they it's you and them for life clank 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 you feel me <laughs> now if um you're just getting to know this person. This person is already planning a proposal, baby. So, you know, just be prepared. Now, if this is someone that you've just been in a, you know, long-term commitment with, maybe it's been on and off, okay? This person, regardless, they don't want no more on and off. They don't want no more makeup to breakups. That's only for a few of you, okay? For others of you, this is a reconciliation or someone new. Regardless of what situation resonates, this person looks at you as the end all, be all, man or woman, okay? You have the empress right here. We got the emperor, okay? So like I said, whether you are man or woman, this person, their heart has told them over and over again, you are everything, beauty, nurturing, you feed, I'm hearing breed, okay, and feed life into this person every chance you get because that's just who you are, okay? You're the type of woman or man that completely helps your person evolve in the best loving way possible. You are the complete upgrade for this person, okay? And I know sometimes... We can be hard on ourselves. But if you don't see yourself like this, this person absolutely sees you like this. Okay? And they want to, I'm hearing, shout it to the world. So this person may start to put you on their social media. Okay? After they truly, you know, I'm hearing pop the question whether this is a commitment or this is an engagement leading to marriage. They know that God has bestowed their blessing upon this relationship. They know it. They dream about you. You are a fucking dream come true. Boo, your energy is everything. You're, you dress really nice. You smell really good. You take good care of yourself. You've worked on yourself. And this emperor wants his empress to stand by his side every step of the way. Okay, for some of you guys, this was a ride or die type of connection and they do not want to give the best parts of themselves that they have now evolved into to someone else. Fuck no. They want to give it to you because you deserve it. You were there through thick and thin trials and tribulations. And if this is someone new, they have been through a lot, but you are the blessing. You are the result of all of their hard work, of healing, of ascending, of expanding, of becoming emotional intelligent, of being spiritually strong in learning, conquering, and not completing the same lesson. Okay? You are their blessing. Oh my God. You got the Ten of Pentacles, y'all. Need I say more? I mean, you're everything. Everything. Everything everything baby you're everything to this person like this is lovely i'm gonna just be honest they want the whole shebang with you this person could be very well off very rich like i said they want to spoil you they want to spoil you um i feel like a lot of you guys are not even with this person 
because of money. You're just with this person because you love being around this person. You love talking to this person. You're just a genuine ass person. Like if it had to come between love and money, you would always choose love. And this person adores it. Like this person knows you're not a gold digger. This person knows that you're not fixated on just using and abusing them for their money. No, it's much deeper, much deeper than that. Okay. And if this is a new person, they're used to people just dealing with them for their money, but they know, oh, their heart, it just falls deeper in love with you because you're not materialistic, but you do want someone that is secure, someone that is responsible, but you don't put that at the top of your list. It's there, but you pride chemistry, respect, connection, authenticity overall. Let's get some romance angels on what your person's heart wants to reveal to you, okay? All right. That's enough for right now. Hold up. <laughs> oh, my God. We have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Your person wants you to know that it is safe to love them. And they feel so safe in your arms and loving you. Yes, they wanna always make the effort. Like I said, you make this person's inner child like super happy, super happy, right? Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take, yeah. Healing, effort, fighting for this connection, they will always because you're worth it, okay? This is a great love, this is a higher love. I keep hearing that Whitney Houston song, Give me a higher love. Uh, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yep. They're always expressing their love is what I'm hearing. Or they are going to. Okay. Let's get a couple more real quick. All right. At the bottom of the deck, they absolutely want to give this a chance. They don't have eyes for nobody else, baby. They want to work on a partnership with you or on this partnership. Okay. Ah, oh, so we have engagement. This is lovely. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment right over top of family and marriage. And then we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Yep. They're releasing and healing what they need to to truly give this relationship the true shot, energy, and attention and love that it deserves. Okay? This is lovely, sweet. Real quick, let's get what they want to say to you, okay? What do you want to say? What do they want to say? Whatever comes out, what do they want to say? All right, that is it for that deck. So let's see. What do they want to say to you? We have... Baby, it's time for me to give you all the love you need. Oh, baby, I know that you deserve the best. I can't keep treating you like I did the rest. Oh, baby. It says, I give good love. I'll buy your clothes. I'll cook your dinner too. Soon as I get home from work. Ooh, baby, yep. It says, my soul fell in love with yours over many lifetimes. How beautiful. At the bottom of the deck, it says, you found me when I was alone. You held me and you made your heart my home. I sit around and dream and there is no one else I see because there is no one else for me. I can't make this shit up, y'all. Cannot make this shit up if I wanted to. Real quick, let's get some secret messages of the heart. Okay, whatever comes out or what they want to say. What do they want to say?
All right, y'all. So it says, I am the jealous type, so please do not try and test me, okay? It says, the feelings between us are mutual. Didn't I say that that whole reading, that you feel the same way? We have too many problems in this relationship, and the roller coaster ride is making me ill. Maybe we should call it quits for now. And the only reason why this person is just thinking this, they're just thinking this, even though every sign, every synchronicity, every dream, everything points to the fact that you guys are meant to be together, it's because they're having money problems. That's all. But as they continue to ascend, remember, their money problems will be over. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here because it says money worries are keeping me up at night and I'm just not in the place right now, okay? So if your person has pulled their energy back or they are like working overtime at their job and they're not really expressing themselves, it's because they think that you're going to leave them. You're going to reject them. A sense of them feels like this is too good to be true, but everything tells them that you're meant to be. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, it says, you are my only love interest. I cannot make this shit up and I'm here to stay. But they get in their own head because they've been struggling with money, I'm hearing. But it's like, why I said that message in the beginning makes sense now. It's like, you don't care about money, but you do want to be stable. You do want a man or a woman that, you know has something going for themselves, can take care of themselves, that is responsible. But money is not the top tier priority, okay? And I feel like this person thinks so fucking highly of you with this Empress card. It's like, ah, oh, I know you deserve the best. I know you deserve to get spoiled. I know that, you know, you deserve to get whatever you want. And right now, this person may feel like they don't have it, but they're about to, they're about to get a major blessing. They don't even see it yet. Okay, this is what their higher self is telling you. So if they have pulled back or if they just seem a little down, you know, just encourage them. Just give them a hug. Tell them that it's going to be okay. Little do you know, this will actually help them. All right, my sweets. Wow, as I split the deck, it says, I'm willing to put in more effort and time so that the love between us can grow. Okay, so your person may just be having financial woes, but they are becoming more confident, they are healing, they are becoming more balanced so that their financial situation can even out, okay? Really quick, let's get an advice, okay, from spirit. What does spirit have to say, okay, when it comes to you and this person? What do they have to say? All right. Oops. All right. So we have you are adored, lovely, all right. Don't be fooled by the players and don't be fooled by yourself. There is no one more lovable nor loved than you. And I know everyone. OK, so the universe is like, we know everyone. And whether you know this or not, this person loves you. I'm trying to tell you, what did I say in the beginning? This person loves you more than you love them. I'm just being honest. OK. And whether they want to act like a player or whatever, or they want to push you away or whatever, that don't mean shit, okay? Those you love, love you. I cannot make this shit up. It says, to be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching. Oh my God, didn't I say when you're not watching, this person stares at you? They're daydreaming about you, just staring at you? I'm, I'm hollering. How everything syncs up, Ah. Oh. It says things are about to get really juicy at the bottom of the deck. All right. A little heads up on an addiction that afflicts all. Really old souls. Giving love eventually becomes an even greater need than receiving love. See, you're not strange. So like I said, this person needs to learn how to receive love. Okay. Um, they give it, they give it, they give it, but they don't know how to receive it. All right. But your person's an old soul like you. Wow. They choose you. I cannot make this shit up, y'all. Okay? They choose you. It says, real quick, you might not readily believe this. It might even spook you a bit. 
But there are those who choose this very lifetime in large part, knowing you'd be there. This person chose to reincarnate into this 3D reality because they know, they knew that they would be able to spend it with you. Now, that's what we call a repetition. Hugs, that's beautiful. This person, oh my God, loved you over many lifetimes. The other card said that. That is to clarify, but that is the reading, my babies. This is what your person's heart wants to reveal to you in depth, okay? Please like, subscribe, share, comment, okay? And make sure you hit the bell button if you have not. It all matters so much to me and it helps my channel grow. I love, love, love you to life. You deserve this and more. Bye.